Hi, my name is Alex. Um, I'm a member of SRUK and this is my very first video. I've never made one before, so I hope it's not full of too many mistakes. Um, I have scleroderma, systemic sclerosis, um, and as part of that, as many of you will know, um, do get a lot of the uh, telangiectasia all over my skin and especially my face, which is all the little red dots you can see <clears throat> all over. So I'm hoping just to show you um, a way to, to help cover up with foundation if you're feeling self-conscious. Um, first of all, I've just moisturised, cleansed and moisturised my face and I made sure that I put a sun protection factor on as well. Sometimes I just use a little stick like this one um, and just apply it all over the face. Other moisturisers have sun protection factor in them and uh, because of the drugs that are, a lot of us are on, it's important to make sure you've got your protection on. And so, and then I've applied a primer. Um, the one I use um, is readily available. I, I hope to list some of the products in a description below um, so that you can access them. So I've applied a primer <coughs> which helps the foundation um, stick to the face really and last longer during the day, gives it something to adhere to. Uh, so, along with a lot of you, my hands are a bit of a problem. They don't meet, so it's quite hard um, to apply lotion or any foundation or any liquid sort of smoothly because they just don't bend in the right way. And also, of course, you know, fingers get sore and a bit blue sometimes. So I find it easier to pour my foundation onto a palette or so anything similar. Um, and then use a brush to um, apply it. So something like this is one I've got. It's a big buffing brush. Um, and you can also get flat ones a little bit bigger than this one. Um, so I'm going to apply my foundation in a sort of downward motion a lot to, to flow with the hairs because we've all got little hairs on our face that go downwards and if you sort of ruffle them up it, it looks a bit funny. So, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and as you can see um, this particular foundation is quite pale. Uh, I think it was probably a winter one. But after we've applied it, give it a good buff in all your nooks and crannies under the eyes. Still in a downward type of motion. And for me, the red marks continue all the way down my neck, but obviously we can't cover a, the entire body, so I just sort of try and blend it out a little under my neck. And if it's particularly bad, I'll probably wear a scarf or something that day, um, or a higher neckline, but generally try not to worry about it too much. So that's a sort of first layer. I'm not getting my moustache. So already I can see it's covered very nicely, but I can see still lots of little pin marks. So I'm just going to apply in a stippling motion. When, when you want to cover up really well, this sort of a method of pressing works. Sometimes if you drag too much, the foundation comes off again. So I'm just stippling and that started to cover really well over my red marks. If you want a really seamless finish I've got also something, this is called a beauty blender, you can get all different types and you moisten it under the tap and then with a tissue just take off any excess and, and then this just if you press it into the skin, it just starts to blend it even more so it looks like real skin rather than something put on the skin. 
So that's, if, if you were having a day out or, or something like that, if you're having an evening, a special evening, you might pay a little bit more attention. But that looks nice and blended. So for me, I can still see the occasional little mark. So I've got a camouflage cream that I use. I've had this for years, but they still do it. It's very, very good and it covers tattoos and, and all sorts. Um, so all I'm literally doing is taking a tiny little bit on a, a tiny brush. This could even be a paintbrush if you want it. And over the little red marks, that are still there and then with a finger the heat of your finger will help blend it and there's that one there always and then you do this all over the face that way don't cover it all with the camouflage makeup because that just looks like a mask but 